Welcome to Butterflies of the Biosphere. Uh, I'm here with Crispin Holloway looking at the Silver Spotted Skipper and we're currently accompanied by a buzzard making calls. It's quite a nice thing. Mm, it's lovely. Yeah. There so <laughs> we're at Dentures Bottom, private land, isn't it? And uh, we came here last year to confirm that we had the Silver Spotted Skipper. We found yep. it and we're back here to have a look again. And they're here today. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. We've not seen a lot. Okay. There's the two female, two males, sorry, and a female chasing and another singleton. So they're here. Yeah, so do you think we're a bit early? Yeah, I think so. Um, they'd normally be at their peak now, so a little bit late. But having said that, the earliest, or the first sighting this year, was 9th of July in Surrey, which is three or four days earlier than the previous earliest sighting. So that's but remarkably early, it is. isn't it? I think the warm start to July really got things going. Yeah. And then it went unsettled and pushed things back and, OK things got delayed a wee bit and it's a nice little butterfly that zooms around very fussy with its habitat yeah and that perhaps explains why it was so endangered and uh, not too long ago no uh, yeah back in 1982 there's only two known colonies in Sussex over at Deep Dean Windover Hill So Crispin, you told me that this butterfly is firmly constrained. What do you mean by that? OK, it's at the northern extreme of its European range. Um, it's found in nice warm areas, so it does well on the continent and it can tolerate a greater range of habitats. Whereas here in the UK, it's going to require ideally south-facing slopes with full sun and with a short sward and practice a bare ground. So this is not unlike the Adonis Boo that you told yeah, me about absolutely. last time. Very similar. Very well, similar. I see that you have a temperature gun in your hand. Mm -hmm. I guess you're going to be doing some uh, measuring of temperatures. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here we've got the temperature where the vegetation is. It's quite cool actually. Um, and then compare it down here. And yeah, that's significantly warmer. Warm enough for the female to lay her eggs round here. It's a nice practice of sheep's fescue where she'll lay her eggs individually. They're little pudding bowl type eggs laid on the leaf tips of the sheep's fescue, just next to bare ground, where it'll be nice and warm. The eggs will then drop off, perhaps in the winter when they get a bit wet and then drop off onto the ground. Then they'll hatch next spring, March, April. So Crispin, I mean, is this good habitat for the silver spotted skipper? Yeah, it is. Um, I mean, there's a good, nice short sward, plenty of sheep's fescue, but actually there's not so much bare ground as perhaps would have been required a few years back. But we so are seeing them here now, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, so that's perhaps not such a problem. Oh, actually, look, there's a couple there. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I think that's amazing, Crispin. I think we were really wise mm. just to keep our distance at first. Uh, yeah and approach them slowly, Yeah, I mean, once they were together. I'm amazed how quickly they have actually copulated after flying down there. They're very fresh, aren't they? They're superb, yeah, especially, yeah, and especially the female. She looks perfect. Oh yeah, not really. Probably day old. Yeah. I, f hmm. I hope that they're not disturbed by this. No, I don't think they're bothered by us at all. Clearly, clearly trying to get a purchase. Is yeah. He looks a bit uncomfortable, but okay. Wow. She looks a bit more well comfortable. I was going to say, but uh, really yes, moving no. around now. Yeah. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Oh, and there yeah. we are, separated. Hmm. Seems a bit early. Yeah, and I think I think it's because he wasn't comfortable. Yeah. And that that led to this, in well, was it coitus interruptus? I guess you call it. Well, Crispin, that was really great, wasn't it? Really good to see. Yeah, it's great seeing that pair. Yeah. There. Got 
nice detail, see their behaviour. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, it was a lot to see. Now, look, I wouldn't recommend anybody coming to Dentures Bottom because, of course, this is private land, but where would you suggest people go to see the Silver Spotted Skipper? Well, Morning Down, possibly one of the highest populations in the country. Right. Um, then there'll be uh, bottom, around the bottom of Black Cap. Right. Um, Wild Park. Yes. Um, well, where else? Castle Hill? Yes, Castle Hill. And um, Mill Hill? Yes, they've recently colonised there. I think it was last year. All right, so and in fact, that's interesting, isn't it? Because we'd like to know where this butterfly is moving to. So yep. if you see any of the silver spotted skippers anywhere within the biosphere, we'd love to know about it on either Butterflies of the Biosphere Facebook page or on the sightings page of the Sussex Branch of Butterfly Conservation. Crispin, thanks for a great day. Okay, that's great. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much.